Okay, so I have announced this week that I am working on a project that is called Ponder In, and it will be a silent retreat. Um, this is something I've been dreaming about for almost a year now. It came to me on part of my healing journey about um, that we just don't get enough time to just sit and reflect and to really hear the voice of God. There's several times throughout the year that I will make a point to attend a conference by myself or just get away or even just take eight hours to wander around TJ Maxx or something just to get away from everything and to just kind of spend some time um, being quiet. So I wanted to orchestrate um, something that was going to not only help me, but help other people because I feel like a lot of women have a lot of noise in their lives. Uh, many of the women that I work with either have um, close family that kind of interferes with it every day or they're just surrounded by a lot of busyness. I mean, busyness is kind of our um, badge of honor, right, in this culture. Um, so what I did is I put together a um, three-day, two-night um, retreat. It is only for a small amount of people. I will, I plan to do this at least two or three times this year. Eventually I'll be doing it four times a year, one for each season. We will gather together on a Friday evening and we will share a dinner together. Um, the dinner and the lodging is all provided for, and there's just a small cost for that. It will only include about six women, including myself. Um, I like to keep it small because the more people, the more noise. So on Friday night, we will gather together for dinner and we'll just kind of share about ourselves. Like, Hey, what are we here for? You know, kind of hang out and just get, get some connectedness for sure. And then we'll wake up on Saturday morning. We will eat breakfast and then we'll go into a time of silence from 9am to 6pm. Um, lunch snacks and everything will be already out. Um, I will gather up everyone's phones and keep them um, in a safe spot. I will make sure that somebody has an emergency contact number in case something needs to happen. So, you know, logistic wise, that's like totally covered. Um, but in that time, there'll be worship music playing. Um, maybe you just want to enter into a room of like soaking worship. Maybe you want to go outside. Um, our first one this year will be on a lake. So if you want to kayak out to the middle of the lake, you're welcome to. It'll be January, but hey, you know, to each his own. Just wherever you can find your spot where you really connect um, with God and like shut down your mind, shut down your brain. Um, that is probably going to be the trickiest part. Um, we may start off with maybe a meditation or a yoga or something, um, that kind of guides us through being able to shut everything out and really get into the presence of the Lord and really be able to hear what he has um, for us in that time. I will provide, or you can bring your own, um, a journal for you. So I'm big on journaling. You guys know this. Um, so that you can just kind of write and record what you're hearing and everything. So snacks, everything, food provided throughout the day, but we are silent all day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. When we come back at 6 p.m. for dinner, we'll gather again as a group, connect, um, maybe kind of debrief a little bit. We'll have a meeting after of prayer and just um, kind of just chatting about what we heard and sharing about what we feel like God is doing in our lives. And then um, the next morning, we will have prayer and a worship time that will be Sunday morning. Um, we'll have breakfast and then we'll break and part ways at lunch. So I'm really excited about this first one. This has been something that's been on my heart for almost a year and I've been trying to plan and orchestrate it. I thought, you know, I wanted to go big this year and do a conference, but God is really showing me how to funnel things down into a more connectedness, a more one-on-one -on -one, um, with, with, with other women. So, um, this is where we've landed for now, is uh, Ponder In is what it's called, uh, our very first silent retreat. It will be January 31st through February 2nd. I only have four more spots left um, for the retreat. So if you're interested, if you just want to know more information, um, email me, message me, 
Don't send smoke signals. We've already talked about that. Um, leave me a comment, something. Uh, just get uh, get in touch with me, and I can send you all the information and how to pay. Um, the cost of the retreat this time is only going to be $75, and that does include all of your meals and lodging. Um, it won't be like this every time. It will very likely be more um, as we... Um, kind of grow and are able to find, um, different locations and everything. But this one was generously, um, donated for a very, very small price. And I'm so grateful for that. And being the first one, um, there's going to be some kinks that we're going to work out. Let me be honest about that. So I'm learning, we're all learning. Um, but I think it's just going to be a really great time for reflection and just, tuning in, tuning out everything else and tuning in to what the Lord has to share with us. So I hope you guys can join us. Um, email me. I'm going to say email me. If you have my cell phone number, text me too. That's fine. Um, but I may not see all the comments and everything. So feel free to email me at, um, she's got gumption show at gmail.com and I will get you the information you'll need to join us, which I hope you do. Happy New Year, guys. Let's make it a good one.